Assalamualaikum, we are from group 11. Today, we are going to present of general review, which is corporate culture, and we are consist of six members. Let us start with the introduction. The article that we've reviewed titled National Bureau of Economic Research Corporate Culture by Gary B. Gorton, Jill Grennan and Alexander K. Zentafis significantly contributes to this ongoing conversation. Published in October 2021 in NBER Working Paper Series, the article focuses on the introduction and content in corporate culture topics. The research addresses the pressing the pressing issue of corporate culture, defined as shared values, beliefs, norms, customs, and behaviors shaping an organization's internal environment. Corporate culture is likened to the personality of a company, influencing employee interaction, decision making, and work approaches. This review will delve into various aspects of the study, highlighting the article relevance and significance. This review ultimately contributes to the ongoing academic dialogue offering insight for researchers, practitioners and scholars. In this journal, we have identified four theories. First is corporate culture as a store of knowledge. Among the first important study of corporate culture was by Kramer. In 1993, Kramer defines that corporate culture as the part of the stock knowledge that is shared by many employees. For example, like there are two doctors work in the same place, which is hospital. One of the doctor is general practitioner and the other one is specialist. The patient always met the practitioner doctor to detect the illness at first before they give the information to the doctor specialist. This is way pointed that the doctor practitioner is specialized in code. Second theory is corporate culture as shared belief. It is about the culture clash in merge. For example, there are two managers do separate firm and they took the employees they want to according to what they want. They will make firm deadline but for the experimental is right. Next, corporate culture as a wave on cultural elements. Um, if the two things will not coordinate well um, these things will affect the film it is because they will make conflict to two teams and make them fighting each other the managers have to make sure they have signed a complete contract contract for the second team if there anything conflict happens to teams one to team one um, these things will make sure the firms to keep working well. Um, next, corporate culture as a firm reputation. The work by Krebs in 1990 defines corporate culture as a firm reputation. This reputation is built over time through repeat behavior and the sickness to employees about what decision the firm will take on the occasion of the unforeseen contingencies. This concept of corporate culture aligns with early works by Thomas Schelling and the emphasis on cultures, traditions, or norms as a forming focal point that select an equilibrium when multiplies once a present. The main point is the journal. 
one time worry in practice. Presented component culture adult they are constant culture and component that can break uh, culture is never static. Overcoming challenges can lead to the creation of new daily practice and a shared culture trust among employers. Next, time invariant approaches. If a presenting aspect of culture is linked to performance through an ability to guide employers during period of the grade, as entitled the time invariant component, so printed out of sample warranted. I identify one weakness in this journal. Jensen and McLean ignore the possibility that managers are essentially well-intentioned people operating in a complex and uncertain environment. The lack of knowledge and skill of joint production, same as the other on the innate capacity for human cooperation. It is important to approach a method to overcome these challenges by practice a proper model modeling corporate culture, not as shared knowledge, but as shared belief by Van Dinstein. He claimed that the definition of corporate culture as shared belief is essential in organization. Eric highlighted the significance of a shared understanding and acceptance of specific values, convention, and behavior within an organization when he referred to corporate culture as the shared belief. The basis for how workers think, act, and contribute to the work environment as a wall in this shared belief system. For example, if honesty and innovation are core values embraced by everyone in the company, it becomes a shared belief that influences how employees approach their work, collaborate with colleges, and tackle challenge. This shared belief can foster a sense of unity and cohesion among team members, contributing to a strong and positive corporate culture. In the end, a corporate, a corporate culture that is based on common values influences how people inside that organization view and interact with their job, contributing to the formation of the organization identity. This practice highlights it, its status as a common belief system in its conclusion. And company can build a cohesive and happy work environment by establishing a fostering and, and fostering a shared understanding of value behavior. Thank you. Conclusion In conclusion, this journal offers plenty of material for study and learning. Among them, uh, we can learn meaning what is corporate culture, measurement, empirical theory, and future direction. Research in corporate culture is advancing with the use of new methods and big data, leading to a better understanding of its various elements and their impact on firm behavior. Further theoretical work is needed to develop a comprehensive framework for incorporating corporate culture into economics and finance, making it a crucial aspect of corporate finance research. Much remains to be studied and developed on corporate culture and we urge economists young and old to direct their energies to this flourishing idea.